Hello drone racers, I'm Mark and today we are on a quest for more camera angle. This is the Hawk 5 drone which was outstanding. This is just a really nice drone. The biggest problem I had with it was I couldn't get enough camera angle. Watch this. I need more, more camera angle. I have not seen any golfers yet today. I think it's too cold. For racing, it probably needs more camera angle. This is the stock camera angle on it. And I can't quite get as much as I feel like I need to. And I've got good control. So after that, my main mission was to figure out how to get more camera angle out of this drone because it could definitely take advantage of it. And then when Joshua Bardwell goes ahead and just posts a video about more camera angle on this drone and shows it with a 60% angle, then I watched it. But he didn't talk about how he did it. He just showed the camera angle without any discussion of mods or changes to be able to get that. So. Then I really had to figure it out. I was kind of confused at that point. This has a Fox Ear Micro camera in it. And after some research, I found that you cannot flip this. I actually did take this out. I connected the USD cable and I tried to flip this and that didn't work. It does not have an option to flip this screen, even though you can take this out and flip over these brackets and flip over the camera. You can get that all to work. It doesn't work with this camera. The solution ended up being ridiculously simple. So to get to the camera, there's just four screws here that you have to take out, it's nice and easy. So then also the camera is held in nice and tightly with these screws, so you'll probably have to loosen them. So there's actually two problems, and they're both really minor. These ESC wires were tucked up here underneath the plug for the camera. So they were underneath over here. So my camera angle was just hitting on them. So that didn't work. So I pulled these cables out of the way and I've just set them up here and they're not in danger of connecting or hitting the prop. The wires here are really, really close to the flight controller. And I actually thought they were hitting, but they're not. You might be able to move this and adjust this without taking off the top plate, but it's much safer because you have a little more give to get it past, the wires were catching when it was all in tight on the flight controller. So if I move the top, then I can just slide this forward a little bit, get really probably more than enough camera angle. Now I'm still catching the wires on the other side here. If you want a full like 90 degrees, you'll have to move some of those wires out of the way too. But if you really want to do it, you can get a ridiculous camera angle without having to make any major mods and changes. You just need to get it where you want it, get it locked in and then put everything back together. So in my case there, that's about 50 degrees, I think. And that'll probably be pretty good. We'll go find out today. So I'll just tighten up all the screws, put the top back on, and go find out. So there you go. Once I put the top on, I found out I've actually even got more than I want. That's more like 60 degrees. So that's probably too much. But hey, just for you guys, I'm going to try it. One thing to note when putting the top plate back on, these plates, which for whatever reason they're there, you don't really need them, but they do look cool. They are directional. This is beveled to match the screw on one side. So if you try and put them on upside down, your screws won't fit. So make sure you put the right one on the right side. It's still maybe not quite enough <laughs> and really hard on this battery. Once it gets down a little bit, it's all right. Oops. Coming soon to Drone Racer 101, how to clean mud out of your motors. So the drone and the battery were about 30 feet from each other, so it took a pretty good hit, but it seems like it's just fine. It's a good first test for the durability of this thing, because it survived that just fine, but these motors got really dirty, and I think these props probably got ruined. It's kind of hard to tell, they're so wonky looking. But this was actually about camera angle, and I think we successfully showed that that worked. Now I have the freedom to set it pretty much to whatever I want between flat and this thing will probably do a full 90 degrees if I want it to. I don't want it to. But if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you want to see happen with this Hawk 5 after I get it cleaned up. I think I'm going to try some different props. Maybe we'll have a prop shootout to see what worked best on it. But then what comes after that? If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you see all the new drone goodness how-to tutorials, and whatever else I feel like filming, and whatever the weather will cooperate with, which is not going to be flying this for at least a few days. But until next time, remember, after yesterday, I'm going to have to have a uh, battery repair tutorial coming soon, too. Oops.